Funny is all about mobile security and privacy of your data. In this video, I'm going to have a little fun and I'm going to review the Faraday bag as it applies to mobile devices. I'm going to cover what is a Faraday bag, what are the benefits, do they work? And then at the end, I'm going to test some simple tinfoil that you would find at home. And then also a Faraday bag I bought off of Amazon for $14. So what is a Faraday bag? Well, it's usually a copper foil enclosure that blocks all radio signals, and that includes cellular signals. It's like turning airplane mode on your phone, but it is even safer than that. And you've probably seen the popular meme with the, the graphic of the guy with a tinfoil hat on to block radio waves. And it's been used in movies and TV shows like Better Call Saul, where Saul's older brother covers his entire house to block radio waves because that's the kind of health issue he had. Fortunately for mobile devices, all we need is a small portable bag big enough to hold and completely enclose your device with radio blocking material. Faraday bags are known as RFID bags, RFID blocking bag, or an EMP bag as well. Assuming Faraday bags work, what are the benefits? One, they protect from hackers and thieves trying to track your mobile device. Two, keeps your data and property safe while the device is being used or when it's idle. Three, is it blocks cellular, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and RFID that's used by mobile devices credit cards, and car keys. Four, they are portable and easy to carry, so they work just as a normal storage bag as well. Five, a mobile device is trackable unless you can remove the battery completely. A Faraday bag is just as effective as if you remove the battery to make it completely dead. And if you haven't noticed, your mobile devices such as your phone, tablet, and smartwatches do not have removable batteries anymore. Six, it protects your electronics from an EMP solar storm or a nuclear weapon. Very unlikely. Now, whether anything else works, such as the cellular network or internet after such an event is another question. Question. And last, some people use Faraday bags to store their smartphone close to them while they sleep or even carry it in their pocket just to protect from radio waves if that's something that you're concerned about. But if you don't need to get calls or messages while you're sleeping, then why not block radiation from your brain? And when you wake up, your phone is right there in your Faraday bag. Now, do Faraday bags work? Well, we know they work because governments and police use them to protect evidence. Chemists use Faraday cages to protect their experiments. And even Bitcoiner Andreas Antonopoulos said he keeps his crypto hardware wallets in a Faraday bag for protection. So imagine losing your Bitcoin stored on a hardware wallet because of an EMP or a solar storm, or some hacker just wants to attack you with some kind of local EMP type attack to erase the data that's on your hardware wallet. There's a lot of talk from central banks about digital currencies. So there's even more things to be concerned about, you know, protect your digital currencies in the future if that were to happen. The question is not, do Faraday bags work? The question is, do they work for the average consumer and for a cheap price? Small portable Faraday bags are used to store things like a mobile phone, a crypto hardware wallet, a tablet, a laptop, car keys, smartwatches, et cetera. So do you want to spend $2,000 to protect a value of 600? Probably not. So now on to the only thing that matters for this video is do they work for smartphones and how much do they cost? First, let's do a quick experiment using tinfoil you find in every household. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call my own phone so you can see that it's actually going to ring when I do call it when it is not covered. So this is just a protective case that I use. And now let's call it. Okay, so you can hear it ringing. It is ringing on my phone. So we have verified that it's working. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken that same phone and I have put two layers of tinfoil around this completely enclosed to see if the phone is going to ring. So I've hit call and let's see if it is going to ring or if it is going to go straight to voicemail. Okay. So now we have just proven that two layers of tinfoil works as a Faraday bag. Now, obviously, you're not going to walk around in public with tinfoil. You know, at home, just if you want to cover your phone while you're sleeping to block it, that's fine. But uh, we've proven tinfoil works. So people with uh, the tinfoil hat on, you know, maybe they have something. Okay, now we're going to test a Faraday bag I got off of Amazon and quite sizable, not for a full iPad, but for some small devices. It is called 
Hodify, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now, one thing I have noticed is when I put my phone in either tinfoil or in one of these bags is that when I pull it out, it takes probably about 20 seconds, 30 seconds for it to start working again. I'm assuming that the phone is waking up and then saying hello to the nearest cell towers and getting that 4G, 5G LTE connection. So there is a little delay. So now what I'm gonna do is we'll cover the phone, put it in the bag. And then as the directions state, I'm going to enclose the bag. So you can see there's Velcro and you just roll it over and it is completely enclosed. And then now let's give it a call. Okay, I'm gonna put the calling device on speakerphone and we'll listen quietly. So as you could hear, the phone went straight to voicemail. The phone in this bag never rang. And that means this works as an actual Faraday bag and it will protect you and your devices. I chose this bag because it's large enough for a few smartphones. I have large protective covers on my smartphones because I tend to break them if I don't. Uh, this particular bag, I fit an iPad mini, uh, two smartphones with two large covers on them and a set of car keys, had a little room to spare, so it's plenty for me. It's not large enough for a laptop or full-size iPad, but there are a lot of options on Amazon and sizes to choose from. Not that you have to buy it from Amazon, but it's just really easy to go on there. And they're fairly cheap. This one I bought for $14. The quality was fine, and I wouldn't even mind carrying this around in public. So the quality is actually pretty good. And, you know, you can carry this in your car. You can put it in a backpack, put it in your luggage if you travel somewhere. And if I had to pull this out at a coffee shop or something, the quality is not, I mean, it's fine. Like I wouldn't be embarrassed to pull this out. People would not even know it's a Faraday bag. They would just assume it is a nice bag for me to carry a couple devices around. I put a link to this product so you can easily access it, check it out for yourself on Amazon. But like I say, there's a ton of options, ton of sizes to choose from. So just make sure that there's lots of reviews where people give feedback to make sure, you know, does it work? Because people are going to buy it and test it, make sure it works. But also it's that perfect type of product where I could see Amazon scammers who want to maximize their profits, sell you something with the cheapest material, ugly material that may not even work, and then hope you just don't want to return it because, uh, you know, you can get them as cheap as $8, but just look for something that has a ton of reviews and a, and a ton of very positive reviews. With all that said, you might ask, what are the negatives when $14 is so cheap? You protect yourself, it looks okay, and you can use it even to just simply carry your devices. Well, the only drawback is that when you put your smartphone in this bag or any Faraday bag that works, you won't get calls, you won't get messages, no Twitter updates. People won't see that their WhatsApp message was delivered to you and more, whatever apps you're using. So it depends on if you think that is an actual negative or if you prefer the peace of mind at certain times of the day or night or when you're on vacation or when you're playing golf, sometimes quiet and peace is a good thing. Or if you're one of those people who follow the health issues or health suggestions from doctors and YouTubers, then check that out. Uh, it's not for me to say whether uh, a mobile phone is a health hazard or not but do your homework on those kind of things and come to your own conclusion. Stay safe and secure. If you like this kind of content, then remember to like the video so other people might get a chance to see this. And also subscribe to our channel for more updates on products from Afani to keep your mobile service secure. Also mobile security news, hacker news, and things like that. Please subscribe below. Thanks.